What up, guys? It's your boy Harry Williams in here. So this is very informal. I think I'm going to start doing some of these more informal conversations with you guys. But uh, sitting here, I'm always looking up things to talk about. This involves dating to come up with new shows and stuff like that. And one of the things that I realized is that I think the reason that older guys are usually more successful in dating is because they've had enough time over the years dating to do a very good uh, data analysis of what works and what doesn't. And so what I'm realizing is a lot of the things that I know now about how women work and, you know, how what the, th- the things that work best in dating are things that I didn't have any insight on when I was 20, in part because I just didn't have the experience and therefore I didn't have the, the numbers to back up what I now know actually works in dating, right? So I'll give you guys an example. So a common thing that I say is to you guys is, you know, when you go on a date with a woman, you show her a good time, and then you need to wait like a minimum of four days before you contact her to ask for a date. Now, guys that are in their early 20s or mid 20s will hear that and freak out. And they'll be like, oh my God, I can't do that. Uh, she'll think I'm playing games. And what if she sees that I haven't talked to her? Or will she forget about me and run to some other guy, right? And I'm realizing that the reason that 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 response happens is because they don't have the data to back up that being a thing that could actually work for them. So me at 20, if I think back, I didn't have the data to, to have proof that if I ignored a girl for a few days after a date, that she'd actually respond positively to it. At 41, I've extensively tested that out to where I know for a fact that if I go on a date with a girl and then wait four days, I'd say about 90% of the time, I'm going to not only have the woman happy to hear from me, but she'll be even more accepting of a second date. But that's basically just based solely on, on data that I've collected, experiences that I've had, and seeing it work time and time again. Now, here's the thing. I think the other thing that, that men don't like to hear and that women really don't like to hear is that ultimately dating, in order to be successful at dating, it's just knowing the data that works most effectively on women. Like, that's really it. I mean, there's other things, that like learning how to talk to women, knowing what kind of dates to take them on, knowing how to treat them, like all that stuff is just data. And that is based, I know I keep switching between data and data, sorry, I I just noticed that. But but yeah, all that stuff is just based on data. And, And the older you get, the more data that you collect. So if you're a 20, 25 year old guy and you're trying to date and you're having a hard time, part of it's because there are actually different things you need to be doing to get successful, but you haven't tested those things out yet. So for you, it's all theory and hearsay. For me, it's factual stuff that I just keep doing because it's worked before and I've seen it work enough times to where I realize that I don't have to question if what I'm going to try to uh, do to attract a woman or how I'm going to talk to her or kind of date I'm going to take her on, if it's going to work or not, because I've collected the data. And that's all like, if you think about like sales companies and stuff like that, that's all they do. Like when you're getting advertised to, all those companies are doing are collecting data on you to see what's going to make you do the moves that they need to make to get a sale out of you, right? Think about like your Facebooks, your, your, your YouTubes. If you're watching this video now, the algorithm got you. But it got you based on being able to see other things that you uh, looked at and collecting data on it. And so you can do the same thing with dating. So if you really start to observe your dating life and how these dates are going, you'll start to see that some things are working more so than others. And especially if you're in your 20s and 30s, you've been able to repeat certain things enough times to be able to see if those things you've been repeating have been successful or not successful. All right. So another great example Uh, online dating, right? Uh, I have found that over time, I realized I don't have to talk to women for weeks on end to get dates. How did I find that out? Well, I would, the first few women that I tried talking to online, I tried to talk to for three or four weeks and they'd lose interest. And then I started talking to girls for like two days before asking them on dates and I got more dates. And then I tried really the big one was testing out, okay, I'm going to say like, two or three sentences to them and then ask them out and see how that works. And that also worked pretty well. So now if I'm doing online dating, I realize 
I ain't got to wait four weeks for a date. But if you're 25 and you're doing online dating for the first time, all you're thinking is women want to build rapport. Women want to know you over text. And so I got to talk for a long time before I get a yes on a date. And you have not yet collected the data that shows you that doing that is actually not going to get you the results that you want, you know? So I, I, I don't mean to, to you know, I don't, I don't mean to basically boil dating down to just data. Like, obviously, you want to make sure that you're caring for the people that you're trying to date. You want to treat them right. You want to be able to, like, make sure you're getting what you need out of the, the, the reciprocity of dating and relationships as well. But recognize that being more analytical about dating and collecting the data itself can actually be really beneficial to you ultimately finding the girl you want to be with, all right? And I'll tell you too, um, women, even though they don't, it, it doesn't sound romantic to talk about data points and about, you know, various things that are work on all women as a whole when you're trying to get to date them, but most women are respecting the game. Like most women have been studying this longer than guys and they actually respect when they see another guy that knows how dating works and knows what kind of drinks to get them, knows what kind of dates to take them on, knows what kind of topics to bring up, knows what things to do that's going to make the girl want to kiss them. You know, it's a whole thing. So recognize that that's important too. So hopefully this helps somebody out, but just, yeah, recognize, start, start analyzing the data on yourself and see if that doesn't help you with your, with your dating life in general. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm Harry Wilmington. This is very informal. So uh, you guys have a good night or day whenever you're watching this. And I'll uh, let me know if you guys like this format and I'll do some more of these. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.